So I very much believed that perfect health was only one prescription away, right? And, and just as soon as we have a little bit more science and, you know, a bit of tweaking, you know, of our current gold standard applications of medicine, we'll be able to help just about everyone. And so, you know, it's really a, a violent departure, you know, from that mindset to, to where I have come now. And in many ways, I think I needed to be so steeped in that consciousness to be able to really radically shed it. You know, I find that I have um, more extreme beliefs in many ways around natural health and healing than many of my naturopathic colleagues, you know, because I've, I've really been inside and inhabited the mentality of a conventional physician sufficiently to know, um, you know, its limitations and flaws at, the, at this point. So I read a book in 2010 that was recommended to me by a, a colleague, a psychotherapist, and she said, you know, you prescribe a lot of these medications and I know you really believe in them, so what do you think of this book? And the book is called, is called Anatomy of an Epidemic by Robert Whitaker, who's an investigative journalist. And I still remember literally crying on the subway when I finished that book because I watched the whole house of cards just fall in front of my face. and. It's, you know, it was part of my path to be able to receive what this book had to offer because I had already been on my own healing journey and I knew that there was more to the story. So I was able to lean on that and say, well, I'll just go there. You know, I'll go to where my intuitive sense has already taken me, which is to show me that the body has a capacity to heal that I was never informed of as a medical student or resident. And I think I can let this go. I think I can let go my attachments, my, you know, egoic, you know, associations with being a doctor who prescribes and, you know, manages a situation and em embrace a different model. Because many of my colleagues have read this book and it didn't do much, didn't resonate, you know, it just fell flat. And probably because for them to let go of, you know, some $200,000 worth of training, blood, sweat, and tears for a decade of their life, investing their entire career in this model, it's really a lot to ask. Um, so I had, you know, the convergence of paths that allowed me to do that, and I put down my prescription pad. You know, I said, with what this book says, which is essentially that, we have a lot of non-industry funded data that shows us that long-term prescribing of psychiatric medication on the whole whether it's stimulants, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, actually uh, you know, renders the patient less functional than they would have been had they never been treated, right? So we can look back to old data that shows us that the natural courses of these illnesses were not chronic in nature, and that we've turned what would have been potentially a single episode into a debilitating recidivistic disease. You know, we've turned it into a disease. It's not even a disease to begin with. Uh, and so this is very provocative, right? It's very, um, very much an affront to the entire guild of psychiatry to suggest that their prized possession, which is the, you know, the pharmaceutical product, um, might actually be harming more patients than it's benefiting. So I put down my prescription pad because I couldn't justify um, engaging the model in the face of the literature that I had exposed myself to. And it was then that I began to actually heal patients because I had never, ever uh, completed a case. You know, I'd never cured a patient in my entire career before. I managed many um, and struggled with them together and that relationship was still meaningful, I'm sure, to them. But the truth is that there was no real way out for them in that model and today my entire practice is predicated on, you know, giving them back agency, giving them back control over their health so that they can do, do this on their own, you know, go out and be well on their own.